All right, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Drew King the Boss. This video right here, I know 2K18 right around the corner, but there are those who will still be playing 2K17 and this, that, and the other. And so I thought I'd drop this little bit of information on how to get the signature shoe. Um, now, first of all, you need to get past a couple years in your, in your career. Um, every year, what I would uh, inform you do is uh, go to a Nike event every year. So on your second year, go to one Nike event and then simulate throughout the course of the year. And every now and then, stop simulating um, so that way you can see when your next Nike event come up and check your messages from uh, Bruce. Now, if you're, sim if you're simulating through the season, it'll be as if you go to all of the events. You just won't get the VC for them. Um, but as you can see here, I had got the email saying, hey, your signature shoe is coming up in two weeks. So I had to see which game was before that. And so what I decided to do is I, I sim up to that game. Now, like I said, you you want to be simming throughout the course of the season. Um, and as you sim throughout the course of the season, every now and then, just go all the way to the end of his sim through sim to the end of the season. And then stop every now and then checking emails from Bruce specifically. And another tip, though, check all the other emails from everybody else. So, like, everybody will send you a text message saying something like, you know, hey, you want to hang out, this, that, and the other. And agree to all of it, Okay. It, it, by agreeing to all of it, when you're simulating through the season, your man will attend those events. You just won't get any rewards from it. But when it comes to time where you uh, actually agree to hang out with them and then you and then you get to that event and you hang out with them, you'll earn something a little bit better. So you'll earn a little more fans or you'll earn their customized jersey or you'll earn um, a, a my team card for to use for that character in, in NBA 2K18. So as you can see, I agreed to go to every last one of the events. And then I, I, I said... I'm going to play the game, but I'm not going to play it all the way through. Instead, I played up until, you know, the start of the third. Uh, then I sim to the end and um, and got the shoe, uh, got to got to get to the event, got to get, uh, go to my uh, my meeting. Now, like I said, when it comes down to it, uh, you can skip ahead. But when it comes down to it, each piece of information I'm going to give you is uh, like a little vital. All this is applicable to each one of the endorsements that you have that have levels to them. Um, so you can do the same thing with each of the other endorsements when it comes to the Gatorade or, or Sprite, whichever one you chose, when it comes to the Foot Locker or Mitchell and Ness, whichever one you chose, when it comes to 2K, each one of these deals really kind of don't go into full effect and you get the real rewards from them until the second and third year. Um, now this one, now this one, I, I did it, I did it in the fourth year, but the reason I messed up there was, was because instead of simming to my uh third year and then going to the nike events i sim through the third year got to the playoffs you know you don't get any events during the playoffs um and that was my biggest problem but the start of my fourth year i went to my first nike event uh and then that's when he was like hey look they, they want to give you your custom colorway oh bet and so then i had went from level two to level three and level three to level four and, and all in the same year like each event for the uh, for the rewards will say what the name of the of the main rewards is. So my um, personal personalized colorway, um, the name of the event was personalized uh, colorway uh, Nike uh, Nike event. And then the same thing for the signature shoe, as you saw. But like I said, when you're going through, all you got to do is just make sure um, at the beginning of the year, you kind of go to one of the events. So if you want to get. If you want to get your Gatorade one up, if you want to get your uh, 2K Sports one up, if you want to get your um, uh, uh, shoe deal one up, you, you basically apply the same knowledge to each and every one of them. So you just kind of go in, do a game, uh, go to do a game before the event, get to the half, sim to, uh, uh, sim to the end with VC. And uh, or you can file out, you know, depending on which one you want to do, um, you can file out as, as well. Uh, but by doing that, you get to the end and as you'll see, we're going to, uh, we're going to easily be able to, um, to go to that event. And I'm going to show you, not only am I going to show you me get any event, but at the same time, you're going to see me customize my shoe. Now, that's now I, I went through the process. It took me about 20 minutes going through the process of, of uh, doing my shoe, but I'm a fast forward through the entire process. You'll see me make the shoe, but it'll be at a very fast rate. It's an ugly shoe. I really didn't care too much 
about the shoe itself. I just wanted to see if it was possible to get the shoe um, and whether I can get the shoe for my player. Well, uh, I've, there have been people on, on the forum saying that you had to pay for the shoe uh, to use it online. I'll show you that you don't. Um, if done correctly, you'll be able to, uh, well, it, it's really no way to do it incorrectly. The, the, the game might be, um, might be a little bit of a glitch for some than others when it comes down to making you have to pay for the shoe. One thing I would say is, is do not create this, do not create a custom shoe outside of, um, outside of my career. So if you created a custom shoe outside of my career, I would say delete that shoe because I got mine for free. Um, make sure you use a decent naming convention. Don't try to name it like, uh, uh, a name of the, uh, of a brand of shoe. I mean, don't try to name it after a shoe that's already in there, um, or close to it. That could be also something that trips it up and causes the game to, uh, uh, charge you for the shoe. But as you can see, I'm going through the, through the process of creating my shoe. You know what I'm saying? I got me some, I got me 30, 30 some thousand coins. Um, at the end of creating a shoe, I'm going to then, uh get to a point where i can uh equip the shoe and you'll see me equip the shoe and like i said it's i i'm now i wear the shoe on all my characters now um it didn't take like i said it didn't take too long once i had a a, a handle um i saw a couple of videos and i saw a couple of guys say that when they when they when they had it and it was, it was usually around their third year so my main goal was to sim through my second year uh, sim, uh, sim as much uh, of my third year as possible until I was seeing it come up. And at first I wasn't seeing it pop up like, hey, look, number one thing is, is that you really want to make sure your man is going to the events, not the marketing meetings. None of that crap matters. The marketing meetings, all that stuff do not matter. The events are the ones that matter because my agent told me that during the event, that's when they came back and was like, hey, he said, hey, look, they want to thank you for coming to all of these events. Um, and that's what he told me after he told me that, look, they want to give you a signature shoe. So like I said, I, you know, the shoe, like the shoe, ugly, ugly shoe, but I, the whole number, the n number one thing was, I just kind of wanted to make sure I can make the shoe, not only make sure I can make the shoe, but make sure I can access the shoe in my career, make sure that I can use the shoe and see if I got to pay for the shoe and everything like that. It wouldn't matter. I mean, I got 38,000 VC and all of my players are maxed out. 2K comes out in, uh, in just over, over just under two weeks, you know? Um, but it, like I said, there are going to be people who are still going to be playing 2K17 or who knows if the, if the servers get messed up on 2K18 and you just kind of want to play some street basketball. So you'll go back and play 2K17. Um, and it's like, hey, at least you'll have your custom shoes. I mean, to this day, people are right now still playing 2K16 because that was the one that they enjoyed more. And so the same thing might be true for 2K17. In case you happen to get 2K17 and you're like, I want to get my signature shoe, you can get it in your third year um, or fourth year. It's usually your third year. Like I said, I messed up in my third year by simming through the entire year and not, and not going um, – not checking my email throughout the course of the year. Now, like I said, one of the things is, is that you got to realize that um, all of these events, all these extra events, like, like with the players and things like that, tell them that you'll go to those events. Even if you're simming through the entire season, tell them that you'll go to those events. And by telling them that you'll go to those events, your man will technically make an appearance at those events. You just won't receive any rewards for it. But when it comes down to a time, you can start going to, you, you'll start going to these events. Look at that. Bam. Some extra coin. They finished my shoe. Um, I'm about to go, go out with Larry Bird and I'm gonna check out my shoe. But like I said, go to, go to these events. And when you go to these events, what you're going to get from them is, is that you're going to get the ability to um, earn, like I said, my team cards and everything. So uh, let me see. Yep, there you go right there. They was unable to award me my, my team card. This will be resolved at a later game or a later date. Um, and then as you see, bam, Larry Bird, my team card. So like I said, you're about to see me go into um, – go into um, – my menus and and try on my shoes at first i was saying when my next event come up but i was like you know what let me see if i can get these shoes bam as you can see level four current uh, compensation um and everything so like i said you gotta be it's one of those things where you want to be aiming to complete those those uh compensation objectives 
Um, I think at least you got to complete at least one of them. Uh, but as you can see, I scrolled down too far. I forgot to name them after me. So, you know, I had to go back up and bam, there they are right there. I own them. I do not have to buy them. Um, and so then I went to the My Park Pro Am Nike, uh, Nike shoes. And you'll see that I own them here as well. And I just passed them. Watch me gonna go back. Look at me just just realizing that, oh I'm in K's. I, I I started with a J. So I slowly go back and boom. Now I got them. And I said, alright. So I decided to go to my, my my inventory and put them on. See if they see if they gonna work. See see if they're gonna show up in my inventory. If that's a if there's a little bit of a glitch or a little problem with that. So like I said, I hope this all help you out. Um, for those of you who is, who who will continue to play 2K17 or just kind of want to do this just because it's like, ah, man, I've been playing this joint forever. I want the shoes. I want the shoe deal and everything. Like I said, 2K come out in a couple weeks. But for all you know, you kind of want to get your signature shoes going uh, just because it's something that you set, set for yourself to do um, in this game. And I hope this helped you. Leave a like if it did. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys on the next video.